Hello, YouTube fam. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews. I'm Uncle Tim. How you doing, Timsters? How you feeling? First of all, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and the support. Thank you for all the positive energy that you provide when you come here. This is not just a channel. This is a community. Since when is the collecting community a thieving ass community? Since when are we stealing? We grown ass men. Since when are we stealing? You know, I'm trying to figure, is this kids or what the hell is going on? People are taking heads off action figures. That shit is all in Target. That shit is all in TJ Maxx. It's in Marshalls. What the hell is going on? Why are they removing the damn heads? Now, I seen a picture of somebody doing something with Spider-Man, but I seen some other shit when I was at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It's hard to pick up shit and part of it missing. I remember that happened back in the day with LeBron James and that Space Jam stuff and they were moving their heads and I was trying to figure that out. Then I was trying to figure out what the hell is going on with <laughs> DC Multiverse and Marvel Legends telling me, telling me, excuse me. I'm trying to say, why are they taking the Builder figure pieces out of the toy? You gonna need the whole rest of the toy there, but you taking a Builder figure piece. Tell me why the store tr still trying to charge you full ass price. Fam, come on. Fred is dead. Stop playing with me with that shit. Miss me with all of that. See, that's the thing. A lot of places holler about theft and talking about how much they're losing. Like Walmart said they lost $3 billion in theft. And this is why they got cameras above the self-checkout. You know, they're talking about they just might remove all the self-checkouts out of the store. Won't you just bring cashiers back? Bring cashiers back. Cashiers ring up every damn thing, but they don't want to pay no damn body. Talking about you just might close up all the damn stores. You lost $3 billion, but you made $150 billion. Shut up. You ain't trying to close shit. You just in there complaining. Fam, there's going to be loss no matter where you go. You're going to either lose money due to theft, uh, damage, or just, uh, shit, acts to God, you know, because shit happens. Fam, but I'm <laughs> looking at it. You're going into these stores, and half of the time when you buy stuff, the box and every damn thing is dinged all up, bent all up. I'm trying to find out what all these people found these perfect ass action figure boxes at where they keep in and they got them all up on shelves and stuff. And I'm like, where are they doing this at? Man, everywhere that I go, I cannot find anything that's perfect. That's why I'm not an inbox collector. It won't work. People are so willing to just damage everything. They do it with the Hot Wheel cars. You know, the Hot Wheel cars that I guess they already got, they damage the other ones on the shelf for they can take them out and put more out. But hell, I don't got that car. So you just tow the damn car up or you see the just the empty ass um, backer to the <laughs> Hot Wheel car. They done stole the damn cars. Hell, they still in the builder figure pieces. They still in the actual toy at the damn box. Fam, is this what our community coming to? A bunch of damn thieves. Now, these may be kids, but these may be grown-ass people because, again, this shit is targeted. Why play around the holiday season when people are actually trying to buy stuff for their children, for their significant other? You just taking shit and just being just thirsty. Man, come on. You know, people like they're growing their collections, but you ain't growing collections. You, you just bringing bad luck back to yourself. That shit is toxic. And that's bad juju. You just don't go in nowhere and start stealing. Man, look, I'm not trying to, you know, throw shade on anybody, anything like that. But man, if you've been looking for a figure for a long time and you get there and you see all the shit out of boxes, you know, they had the Spider-Man box in there. You know, I'm looking... I just picked the damn box up. I said, this is too damn light. Spider-Man ain't in there. You know, I said, just fill it. Just shaking a box. All I can hear is the damn accessories. So somebody sealed the damn box up, about to sell it to somebody for $31.49 without the figure being in there. What the hell are they doing that at? If the item is gone, take the box off the shelf. 
this ain't the time to be doing this shit because this is the holiday season. A lot of these stores are failing us because a lot of them don't want to pay people to put this shit out. I went into a store that had pallets sitting all over the damn floor with toys in them, but none of the toys were on the damn shelf. Put the shit out. This is the time you should be trying to sell it. Where people are actually trying to buy shit for people. But you know what? That ain't what happened. You know, people feel that, you know, they're going to do shit at their own pace and their own time. And like I said, after a while, you get tired and you get frustrated and you move on. That's what a lot of people are doing now. They're moving on. They're moving around because they're tired. You have every right to be tired. You have every right to look at it and be like, man, this is too damn much. I shouldn't have to deal with all this. I shouldn't have to put up with this. I shouldn't have to be sitting here dealing with all this nonsense. And at the end of the day, it is all nonsense. That's what all of this is. This is not us just acting out and carrying on. You know, I got friends who are collectors who call the damn store every single damn day. Excuse me. Every day they call them twice a day. And they're asking why <laughs> the stores are getting tired of them and don't even want to answer their damn questions. Because you calling too damn much. You thirsty. Go in the store and check. All you could do is check. Nobody ain't gonna do shit to you. You could check as many times as you want to in the store. But they can't do nothing to you. You know, <laughs> people been calling a lot of the associates lazy. Fam, that's not lazy. If I check for you twice already, I ain't no check for you again. I check for you Monday and I check for you Friday. I remember I used to work in retail and I used to check stuff for people like, you know, go back there and check and look and what's taking you so long? Why is it taking you so long to look? You know, it's other shit back here that I got to go through and actually take a look, right? When somebody doing something for you from the kindness of their heart to actually help you and you got a damn attitude, you deserve the damn, you know, them being pissed off at you because you bringing it on yourself. You know, I'm trying to figure what the hell is up with people. Why people doing certain stuff? Why they feel they have, you know, every right to every damn thing that's happening, fam. Shit is what it is. We going to deal with some shit sooner or later. Um, shit is happening. We're losing a lot in this community. You know, we lost the ability to actually get vehicles for a lot of, you know, the toy lines that we messing with. Um, a lot of the toy manufacturers don't care. A lot of the people um, find stuff in their area and, you know, a lot of people are asking them to trade stuff with them or could they buy some extra stuff and sell it to them and they will buy it from them. People are like, no, nah, I don't want to do all that. That's a little too much. And, you know, I just don't say we got it all over here. What is the purpose of telling somebody how much of shit you got in your area and everybody else's area is dry? But you ain't trying to help. If you see something where you at, let somebody know. Pick up an extra. If you want to be a part of the solution, be a solution. But don't be the damn problem. I got so many people I see nowadays bragging, talking about how much they found, you know, in these big, these big box stores like Target, Walmart, you know, and I'm going to say Walgreens because Walgreens do have Marvel Legends at certain times. They lock behind glass, you know, lock and key, basically, you know, you got to ring a buzzer to get somebody over there to get them because people were stealing them. And man, when you look at the Marvel Legends they got behind there, and people like, man, uh-uh, this one was released way back then. How do they still got that on the shelf? That ain't on the shelf. You know what? Shit don't sell sometimes. And it sit there. If nobody want to buy it, guess what it's going to do? It's going to sit there. And that's what's been happening. A lot of times when you see certain stuff in certain areas that's just there, like all those damn quasars that I study see at Walgreens that I go to a lot, and people are like, wait, hold on, uh, 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 Quasar was a while ago, and you ain't gonna see no Quasars out there. It's Quasars all up in the damn Walgreens where I go at. Marvel Legend. I can't do shit with Quasar. I already got one. Why would I need another one? You know, <laughs> fam, this is what I'm getting at. And this is what I've been talking about. You know, everybody out there is out there doing what they do. And, you know... 
That's it. I feel be a blessing to the damn community. Don't be a damn curse. Don't talk shit to your brothers and sisters. Then sit back and say everybody too sensitive. If you basically trying to tear people down and they calling you on your shit, don't get mad. Just understand if you throw rocks at somebody, they're going to throw them back at your ass. And it might hurt when it hits you. If you could, if you could dish the shit out, be able to take it. See, this community sometimes... We lash out real hard. We lash out on one another. We get jealous real quick. We get angry real quick. You know, we try to figure out, you know, how the person doing this, how they able to afford stuff. Fam, nobody get all this shit overnight. It don't happen like that. Shit happen over a period of time. A lot of people who've been with me on this channel, ever since I made that first damn video and started actually putting action figures up there, people realized it grew. A lot of people realized that it was like two figures on each damn shelf. And we grew from there. It didn't happen overnight. And if it did, I'm trying to figure out where I got the money from. Because it didn't happen overnight. You know, that's what I'm just saying. It's real out here, man. <sighs> Shit needs to get better. You know, people stealing toys out of the store. You know, you see people running out the damn store with toys. What they do that at? Since when are we running out the door with action figures? Have it came to that much? You want to resell it that bad, you going to steal it, huh? Or some people are so damn lazy, they taking pictures of the item in the damn store and putting it on eBay. They hid it in the store, so if it sells, they don't go back and buy it and ship it. But you didn't buy it then. What the hell is really going on, fam? People just out of order. Man. But to later, fam, thanks for watching. Peace out.